the folks at home. Yeah. First, a, a closer look at Zach Johnson. Uh, when, when I look at him swinging the golf club, the first thing that, that really stands out to me is is the strong grip. Because I see a lot of amateurs with a grip that's that's too weak. Uh, can you talk to me a little bit yeah. about how a strong grip and how maybe strengthening the club could help the folks at home? Well, I think like you're saying, you know, when you have the grip too weak over on the left side of the club, then what has to happen is there's a lot of a lot of t uh, rotation in the club face, mm -hmm. and particularly in the downswing, trying to square that club up is takes a lot of timing. You got to hit a lot of golf balls to get really really good at it. You know, and Zach when he came to me, he always had a strong grip. So that's one of the things we never really change. But a stronger grip can really be a benefit because as you take the club back, the club face is a little bit closed. But what it does is it requires less rotation and timing down at the bottom. And as you see, Zach comes down and really all he has to do is unhinge his wrist and you can see like that club face is square there where a weaker grip I have to really rotate it. When you have a student come in, let's say somebody who's a, uh, a beginner or somebody who's a 15 to a 25 handicap, is that the first thing you look at the grip? Well, I think it depends on what their problems are, you know, but but making sure, you know, if you're if those of you that are out there, if you get a grip where the V's, you know, the old traditional, the V form between your thumb and hand go towards your right shoulder, and it's really important that the hands match so that you don't have your left hand on this way and then the right hand on this way or vice versa. So you want them to match, and uh, going over that right shoulder is a really good checkpoint. Okay, before we get to Chella Choi, a little bit more on Zach. When I look at his actual golf swing, what I see and Paige you and I were talking yep. about that this morning what I see is a swing that's rotational and has some resistance in it what can we learn from that well one of the things that's kind of misunderstood people sometimes think that strong grip requires a lot of rotation very early in the downswing but if you look at his swing in slow motion what you'll really see is from the top he really gets his arms down really well before that rotation kicks in and that's actually one of his keys he likes to when he starts swinging well he likes to have the feeling of dropping his arms getting them down in front of him then he can match up with his body and because of that strong grip you're going to see it looks like kind of a punch shot mm -hmm. it's kind of a hold on we're going to take a little closer look at his swing in slow mo and, and we can see from the top down and, and i love how you point that out that the, that the arms actually drop right now, uh, a long right before here. the hips kick now, in see how far his arms are down now the hips go and everything matches up and one of the great things and you'll see this with jordan Spieth's swing as well which is one of the reasons why they're such great straight hitters and ball strikers is you'll see that shaft and that right arm and the shaft stay in a straight line a very long time through the golf ball which which keeps that face from turning over is there any way to practice that is there a drill or something the folks at home can try to, yeah, to emulate I mean, that really what we call hit and holds and we do this a lot we take we go back waist high and then we release did you say hold. hit and hold no, hit and hold. Oh, that's a little better one than a hit and hold. <laughs> Want to try it? So, so we just, you know, we'll take a like a seven or an eight iron, which is a great club. And if you just go waist high to waist high right here, what you're trying to do is you're trying to finish with your hands in the middle of your body. And you can see the face of the club is matching my spine. So basically it's like this. This is another good drill. Just turn and rotate, keeping your head down rotate and it kind of gets your body and your arms synced up together that's excellent and all that great stuff from zach johnson well chella Choi, uh, a name maybe some of the viewers don't know about but a seven-year veteran on the lpga tour had to wait 157 starts before her first win but a solid players had 28 top 10 finishes before the win uh on that playoff with Hana Jang. Oh. Tell me a little bit about her game and what she maybe had to work on because she was such a good ball striker. Yeah, I'm, I'm so excited for her because she's been so, worked so hard and she has a game similar to Zach from the standpoint she's very steady, hits it down the middle, uh, really drives it well, hits a lot of greens in regulation, but to win golf tournaments, you have to make those clutch putts, you have to get those clutch up and downs. And that's what we've really focused on over this past year and a half. And, and her stats are starting to prove out and she's making more of those putts and, and that's what allowed her to that great wedge at the 18th hole there on regulation and then to, get, to make that great putt to get in the playoff. And what is it about her wedge game or her swing that lends itself to, to accurate and good shots? Well, I think again, she matches up, has a great, has a very good um, 
uh, rotation through the ball because, you know, we, we, we work on that as well. But I think the big difference for her has been in her chipping. And, you know, and I want to touch on that because, you know, so many times people get very risky the closer they get to the green. And what we've done is we've taken a lot of the wrist out and we and she really had a kind of a cross the body type of swing. So we really got her to swing more uh, around herself, more from the inside. And it's really helped her hit those shots more solid on the club face. What's the benefit of keeping the swing on the inside of the plane? Well, it's where you hit the club. Most people hit their their chip shots out on the toe of the club, and the ball doesn't spin very well, and, and you get a di it's hard to get good distance control. But if you can hit it more in the center or toward the heel, and by coming more from the inside and keeping the weight pretty far on the left side so it allows the club to bottom out right where the ball is, you get that much better contact and better spin. Mike, now only you a master instructor you're a former pga tour player as well so so you know a lot about playing this game and when you see a player break through like chella Choi did over this weekend how much of it is technique and how much of it is psychology well i think at this point now for her i think she's gotten over a big hurdle i mean you have to prove to yourself that you can win you know and you have to put yourself like she's been in position to win many times lost in a playoff uh finished second so many times so Finally breaking through, I think now she's on a new level, and let's see what happens. I think some great things are ahead for her. Again, congratulations, both of your students. Big wins over the weekend. Zach Johnson, of course, with his second major. Chella Choi with her first win on LPG, and we appreciate you taking time to come in this Thanks, morning. Thanks, Paige. Thanks, Charlie.